So this is nice, uh, but it does require user interaction. Um, and um, and one of, the, one of the tricky things about search engines is it's very hard to get users to interact with your system. It's almost impossible. Users hate anything which they don't see as essential to getting to their results. So anything that you introduce, uh, things like tilde operator or things like the search wiki, um, if the users don't see them as essential, they will not use them. And if you force them to use them, Right? If, you, if you make it sort of a requirement, otherwise your system doesn't run, they'll just move on to something else because they hate uh, distractions. That's, that's, that's one of the rules of the game when you're building a search engine. That's why search wiki was killed. That's why I'm suspecting Tilda was killed this summer and many more features like that will be killed. <clears throat> so it's hard to get users to interact, uh, even though it is a very effective way to improve the quality of your results. Basically, if you're coming from a machine learning background, what you're doing is you're taking search, which is very much an unsupervised task, and you're making it a weekly supervised task. And from machine learning, you know that you know, even a tiny bit of training data helps a lot. You give me two examples, and, uh, and it's possible to do amazing things. And that's what relevance feedback is all about. It's how you take very small amounts of examples and turn them into, a useful, um, into something useful. Right, so, uh, but can you use something like that without getting the user to interact? Because it's very hard to get the user to interact. Um, and it turns out that yes, you can, right? Uh, this is called pseudo-relevance feedback and it's one of the most effective tricks in the book. The idea there is you pretend that the user has marked the top relevant uh, documents and of course you don't know which ones are relevant or non-relevant, so you pretend that everything at the top of the ranking is relevant. So how does this work? Same picture, we have our query. These are, our, let's say we take our top four relevant documents. So now we're gonna pretend that all of them are relevant because we don't have the user to tell us otherwise. Right? Compute the mean and compute the new ranking. And, um, and again, this example is drawn in such a way that the new ranking is actually better than the old ranking. Right? So um, it's not as good as our ranking from two slides back but it's, uh, it's a lot better. You get, you get relevant documents at a faster pace than you get non-relevant documents.